Bentornati, welcome back for another episode of my Twitch Dwarf Fortress playthrough of Boulder Dances. Again, to remind you that this is just straight out of Twitch with really, really minimal uh, editing. I may from time to time cut out um, some interaction with chat, but only if that is, let's say, too, too much off topic. Uh, most, m more often than not, interactions with chat are really interesting because uh, people would ask questions and I would do my best to answer. So I, th I think that would be interesting also to you guys that watch on the YouTube. So I, m I may leave, leave most of that stuff in. Anyway, again, this is very, very barely edited. So it's much slower. I'm a little bit all over the place. It's not a tutorial per se. It's just a playthrough. That said, enjoy the show. Okay, I used all the points. Okay, we are ready. Let's prepare the map. Oh, the Dwarven Outpost, you have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh track has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all... Angenzaneg. An Angenzaneg. There are almost no supplies left, not true, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarfs. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter in Tubzu, but it's spring now. Uh, the dingoes get hungry in here, like almost in all places in the world. Um, a new chapter of Dwarven history begins here at this place. A turmatul. Boulder dances. Strike the earth. Alright. Let's pause immediately. Because I don't like to play the game. I just like thinking about it. Um, well, there are, there are trees. It says... It said sparsely forested. Oh, it's because of the river, of course. There's always trees around the river. So we have water. We have trees, we have the road. We should use the road. This road is not very well maintained. Oh, look at this alcove here. Ooh. I like it. Me like it. Red sand is good. And this goes up. Then we have a little bit of a plateau. Okay, and that's the mountain slopes. But this? Like, if this is not a fortress entrance, I don't know what is. Right? So I think this is the start of a moat. Um, we could repair the road here. In time. Maybe not, not the first project. But I, I would remove this, and I would smooth this portion out. So this is the road level, this layer here, and you can come down from the road, or maybe not. Maybe in time we will build a big bridge this way, and the entrance could be totally at this level here, level 37. What do you think about it? I will assume you are ecstatic about it. Also, looks like... Huh, I never do this, but I will have to. This is gonna be a diagonal fortress, oh my god. I'm not gonna be able to do the boring rectangles. Diagonal fortress, extra challenge, incoming. All right, all right, all right. I can do this, I can do this, it's gonna look cool. So this is, this is the center here. Let's begin with markings. Blueprint. Right? Blueprint mode. Activate blueprint mode. This the center, maybe more like this. Should totally do this. Okay. Okay, okay, I can see this. Will this be enough for the 
mm. The mm. Oh, what I mean is uh, wagons. Will wagons be able to go through this? I think I need to go bigger. A little bit bigger. Like that. At least for the grand entrance. I don't want to get too crazy with this. Because really, this entrance is going to be just enough. So, first defense is going to be big bridge that we can raise up or re retract. And there's going to be another way to get to this side, hopefully. Well, you will be able to jump from above. Maybe we can do something about that. Like overhangs and stuff like that. Um, but then, you're in here. Uh, this makes no sense. Oop. I will have to flatten this from above a little bit. Uh, then in here there's a second seal where we can actually like shut everything uh, from the outside. Then short distance, short distance off. Um, this let's see let's see let's see okay this could be where the wagon stops wait is this symmetrical currently not this would be kinda. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Okay. Now this thing has a center. Coolio. Okay, and and we could have then branches going around here, maybe for for military purpose, but but uh, purposes. But that's beside the point at the moment. Oh right, I wanted to check if my logo in there is... Yeah, it's, it's not covering the UI too much. I think it's okay. So, when do I want my staircase? You've gotta have a central staircase. At least I can't really play without a central staircase. I think central staircase is going to be here. I'm going to go for a slightly different thing compared to what you will ask. Well, compared to what, what I do normally, right? Thunder and this is off center. Kill me now. So, there's one thing that I do not like about this UI. The thing is that I have to switch between mining and erasing to do this. Not fair. Okay. So, this is good. This is this is walls and the stairs are going to be here. Let's make the stairs. Now, this stair can go from I guess from here down and at first let's get to level 30. But I want you to remove this portion here. Okay. It's gonna be a V-shaped staircase. Like that? Because this is gonna allow people to get in from this side. Do they want to?
Okay, this is gonna be enough work for my people uh, at the moment. However, I need to fix the, the, the outside first. I need to cut this thing diagonally. Uh, and I think I'm gonna follow this line. So I need to come in here, do channel, and then go for realsies. And this is the diagonal. How far from the center am I gonna go right now? Uh, this is this being the center. Uh, this is one, two, three. One, no, one, two, uh, three. All right, this should cut cut this thing down a little bit. And maybe while I'm there, yeah, I should do this. Before I unpause, because because you don't unpause in this game. Why why would you? There's so much stuff to do. Um. Oh, let me check this. Okay, this guy, for some reason, stone carver. Wait a minute. Do I have one person that is good at carpentry? I forgot about that. I did. <laughs> I do not have a good carpenter. So, who's the inventor? Who is the guy that invented the wheelbarrow here? Well, it's gotta be Litast. So, he, he's not a good carpenter, but he, he did his best. So, his role is carpentry. And he, he's gonna get better. He's also gonna cut wood. And he can't be the miner at the moment. But everything else, or everybody else, dwarves are not things, can be miners. Alright, let's chop down a few willows. Willow trunk, willow trunk. Yeah, these are all willows. Cool, that's gonna be enough wood for quite a while. Position leader cancels. Yeah, 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 because I changed your profession. That's normal. Uh, dwarves, go. You have stuff to do. Okay, okay, okay. So they created this setup over here. From which I'm gonna go immediately ahead and remove the slopes. Come back, dwarves. Gotta dig away. Alright. Okay, we can work with this. Now, we just need to change blueprints from markings to actual designations. And this is all stuff that I want to mine. The problem is, I should make sure to mine out all the stairs at once. Otherwise, they can get buggy. Okay. Let's do this. The willows are falling. Uh, 
Okay, dwarves are mining. Let's zoom in a little bit. Ooh, dolomite. Our main f entrance is dolomite. This is dolomite. Dolomite is flux, by the way. It's a flux stone. And you can, uh, you can uh, uh, know this by clicking on it. And when you see that it says make steel bars, make pig iron bars, that's because it's, it's flux stone. I struck hematite already? Iron? Oh, man. Iron in dolomite. Bo both hematite and magnetite. Somebody is fighting. A stray dog attacks the horse? Ooh, oh, we have we have uh, wild horses. We have wild horses. Okay. Okay. Uh, for now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zones. Pen pasture. Make a pen. Oh, right. I was wondering, why is this so, like, neat? Because that's the road. Very poorly maintained road. Have a pasture... <laughs> it's it's playing the the fight the fight track because of the dog fighting with the horse uh accept a pen pasture i want for now all my well maybe not the cats but all my other animals in there oh and yaks i i i got a breeding pair Right, uh, let's also refine this a little bit though, because this doesn't make sense. Also, this portion here doesn't have... No grass. Okay, okay. Animals go in there. Okay, we are mining down a little bit. And there's a bunch of metal. And there's a jet. And more dolomite. Dolomite and Magnetite. Um... Question. Where's my soil? Okay, it's soil in here. So I need to do something if I want to have farms. Well, there's soil around here too. But it's, it's mixed with Magnetite. Yeah, because, because it comes down like that, a little bit, no, this is dolomite, dolomite, old dolomite. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to dig a lot to get to a decent spot for farms. I get maybe this, but there's jet in here. Why? Okay, here maybe. This could be farms. That's far away. Huh. What do I want to make it a project to play with water right away? I don't need to necessarily start farming like right now. Hmm. So many things to decide. So many things. But let's start with the things that are pretty obvious for dwarves. Those things are that we need workshops and we need a stone worker workshops. No, if it's a stone worker workshop. Get your plurals right. Onion, come on. Come on. Okay, one in there. Uh, let's make it out of logs for now. Then, let's bring some of that wood closer to where we are. Wood stockpile. Pretty please. Uh, and more stuff to mine. 
I would like... Maybe in here... Maybe in here we can start having a little bit of a meeting area. Going this way. Very arrow shaped. Not anymore, for some reason. That can be a meeting area. You squint at it. Okay, so that's something for the miners to do. And then there's animals to move, and logs to move. And by the way, I love this mod that makes the elevation fog uh, gray instead of water colored. Like blue is the color of water. Like why would you make the sky the color of water? Because you don't want it to make black, I get it. But we're supposed to spend a lot of time underground, not in the sky. We're not uh, peregrine falcon people. We're dwarves. Microphone sounds. Bump, bump. All right, we have this thing. I think we need to use the wheelbarrow right away. Make a small stone stockpile. Um, none, just give me the dolomite. The one wheelbarrow. And this is gonna give to the stone workers. Uh, and also I need to get in here. Stone use. Economic stone. Dolomite. Oh yeah. It's already checked. Cool. Dolomite is checked. All the dwarves are busy. Yeah, I chopped a lot of wood. Let me check for creatures. Um, I just saw an animal. I mean, a bird. It was probably a really small bird, though. Because it only lists horses in here. All right, all right. I would like some of my miners to actually start mining. I think I should reduce this stockpile because it's taking a long time to work through that. All right. I don't want you to move any more wood right in this second. Okay, that's better. And we're gonna have our in first indoor meeting area in here. My tea is totally cold. Hmm, still good though. Still good. Okay, so meeting area. The two don't guys don't be don't 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 be like super Fools, poor fools, and just stay outside for some reason. Um, let's fix this. Look like that. Oh, I should have totally kept a pillar in here. Then I could have had 
doors. Like diagonal doors. Yeah, but maybe not. I don't need doors. Who needs doors? This is... Huh. The Hall of Wheels. Alright. The Hall of Wheels. And in the Hall of Wheels... I'm going to store food for now. Just so that my food doesn't get stolen. And doesn't rot. So, food. Food and maybe... Food and cloth. Mm, I don't have bins. I can make bins. Yeah, just, just bring the food for now. Bring the food. That's gonna take some time. In the meantime, I can get in here and say... Make a few blocks. Blocks are always great to build with. They are easy to carry. They look nice. High quality, high value. Great for construction overall. I'm not dedicating anybody in particular to that at the moment. Um, at the same time, I can get in here and make a carpenter's workshop. Out of uh, willow logs. I mean, this is a temporary one. When I make workshops inside, they're gonna be made out of dolomite blocks. You can pretty much count on it. Okay, your job is to make a few beds, first of all. Four, and then a few bins. Four. Let's decide... Oh, look! The black cap wheelbarrow. This is the original. The original wheelbarrow. Even though it says number two. It says number two, but that's because of vandals. So there's a guy back in the mountain home that stole the original wheelbarrow blueprints and they went and claimed that their wheelbarrow, a nether cap wheelbarrow, is the first wheelbarrow, but this is the f actually the first one. And, we, and we're gonna prove it. Oh, and by the way, elite test. You should, you should make a second wheelbarrow. Because we need to put the, the wheelbarrow on a pedestal. And I, I need a pedestal. Uh, who's my good, who's my good... Um, stone carver. Okay, that's a lot of blocks. Now I can temporarily assign this workshop to Bim, which is a proficient stone carver. Only one master can be assigned to each shop. Ah, this is for switching around. Okay. Bim stone carver. Make me a nice a nice uh, pedestal. Okay. And we're gonna have the pedestal in here. And we're gonna proudly display the original wheelbarrow. Pride and joy. Pride and joy. Of our, uh, of boulder dances. Boulder dances, and I, I already forgot how we are called. Center on our forts.
uh, the amazing wheels of carrying. Pride and joy of the amazing wheels of carrying. The black cap. Wheelbarrow. Uh, let's have a... What is this? Glad you asked. This is a furniture stockpile. It's not gonna hold much. It's gonna have these beds. Ah, yes, beds. Where do we want to sleep? High up? Why not? Why not? Let's see... I want to keep this shape, more or less. Um, then let's go out a little bit. This will be enough. And in here we'll have the dormitory. Let's see... Okay, door. I mean, is that a door? That's not really a door. Um, this would be a door. And this would be our dormitory and this totally look like looks like a shovel. And I'm fine with it. I'm honestly actually happy about it. I didn't plan for it. It's a happy little accident. Makes me really, really happy. Happy accident makes me happy. That's redundant, but I'm gonna own it. Come on. I, I need the shovel head free. Free of dolomite. I love that, that, that this is dolomite all the way through. It's gonna make for a really nice looking fort. Um, furniture. Beds. Use closest. Keep building. One, two, one, two. And we don't have any more. Go and then we come in here as a dormitory. This, but also remove this. But unless I want the door in here, in which case this can be the dormitory. Good, we have a place to sleep. The dwarves will be happy about that, or at least won't complain about that. Okay, dolomite blocks. Make wooden wheelbarrow. Make the second wheelbarrow. And we are getting better. We are getting better already at making wheelbarrows. Do we have the pedestal? Furniture. Uh, uh, display. Oh yeah, I was using the closest, which is okay. We only have one at the moment. That should be pretty easy. All right. Now click on here, assign new display item. Uh, tools. The black cap wheelbarrow. Misnamed as wheelbarrow number two. This is a, a nice pedestal. This is a superior quality dolomite pedestal. Pretty good. At some point I, I will engrave it. Because this will this will be forever the pedestal. Oh. Oh look at it. This is amazing. Amazing. Okay, while everything continues to go on as planned. I will have another workshop. I will have a crafts workshop. 
Yes. I will put it in here. Um, oh, 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 oh. Since I now have quite a few dolomite blocks, I can definitely come in here and say, let's be prepared, even though it's really uh, early. It's mid-spring. Um, select materials. Let's make a dolomite blocks trade depot. Uh, this crafts workshop, whatever, it's going to be made out of dolomite because it was the closest material. That's good. Craft dwarf workshop. You're gonna take from this. And I want you to make a few mugs. Uh, who was my crafter, first of all? That's a sign. Logan. Logan, you're assigned. Tasks. Rock. Mug. Rock. Mug. This should make six mugs. Nice quality ones too. Um, yes, and, I, and now I need to continue assigning stuff to mine. Because otherwise we're just... We're just idle. And being idle isn't, isn't great. So we have a meeting area in here. And this is the entrance. Where do I want to have my crafting halls? I could have something going on in here. Possibly, hmm, let's see. Yeah, possibly the, the ma mass production stuff as opposed to dedicated uh, artisan workshops. And I'm thinking I could go because mass production is mostly stone and wood. I can now break the diagonal pattern and go stone and wood. Because stone goes up, stone elevates us. Wood, wood kind, kind of goes sideways, right? Wood is tricky. I think that it fits like the the feng, feng shui of the fortress is being re respected. Um, we're gonna have doors. And then we're gonna have these corridors. And I can't really get too close in here, otherwise I make a that that makes a loop and I don't like it. Not a problem per se, but I just don't like it. Because I'm like that. So if I was in here, I wanna have enough space left and right for workshops and a little bit of space for the whatchamacallits, uh, which are the stockpiles. Let's say it was something like this. Could be enough. Okay, and they they don't collide. I want to have another one here, though. They totally touch in the middle. Hmm. Yeah. Or maybe we just don't. Same time, though, I can totally do something like that. Just because. I'm absolutely not gonna mine all of this at once. I just want to see what it looks like. Uh, and these could be rows of columns. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love it. I love this design already. Okay, now though, let's turn all of this into blueprints. And let's decide what to carve first. I definitely want to move both, you know, the, the making stone and of wood products inside. So I think this and this will have to suffice for now. We'll also keep the miners pretty occupied, not preoccupied, but sufficiently occupied, let's say. And in the middle, there's also going to be uh, space for a few stockpiles. So uh, this is oh right, right, right. Because I I customize the embark, so I absolutely don't have a ton of furniture, which is a pro, definitely a pro. So you know what? I can come in here and say, yo, get the leather, because now we have bins. Then get weapons and trap components. Cloth, uh, bars and blocks, armor. Do it. Logam has created a masterpiece Dolomite mug. I told you this guy was onto something. This is a masterful Dolomite mug created by Logam Astrodem. Very nice. Okay, th these mugs need to be close to our meeting area here. Let's make a small stockpile in here. This is gonna be specifically for mugs. Uh, no type, but goblets. Now goblets, mugs, and cups are all the same thing. The name just depends on the item you make them out of. Struck hematite. Good. Not many gems. Still haven't found a single gem. Am I right? Do we see gems like occurring naturally in here? Um, wow, there is really a scarce low amount, there's a scarcity of gems. This mudstone? Okay, there's an opal cluster. Well, when in doubt, dig deeper. So I think I will have to do that. There's a lot of magnetite and hematite in here. Which, long-term, is even better, really. Oh, this is where the red sand is. Oh, look! I can totally make my farms in here. How did I miss this very nice plateau? Okay, okay. Our farmers are saved. They're just gonna have to, you know, walk a little bit. 
Let's think about that. So a small corridor here. And then we take a bend. And for this, this tool would be most useful. And we get, I don't know, up to I don't I don't need a ton of space up to here. I would just have to remove this beacon tree. Uh, oh, right, and I want to turn all of this into actual designations. All right. So while this goes on, I would like to start appointing people. So you're my expedition leader. The manager is already decided because we have a competent organizer. So this guy. The broker is also decided. Sibrek. Zaneg Sumun. The broker. Bookkeeper. Nobody is competent in this. I think Latast will have to keep the books for us. I still have no idea what a messenger is. I'll have to research that. Uh, now that those are assigned, I need to decide. Uh, this thing is still assigned to BIM which is good at this kind of stuff. I need to assign a couple of chairs. The Rock Thrones. One. Uh, 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 uh. And two. Okay, we have these spaces, so I could actually start moving this stuff in. Um. So let's get in here and create the stone. Do, 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 do. Workshop. Stone worker. Dolomite blocks. Workshop. Crafts, as in stone crafts. Dolomite blocks. And right here in the center. What? Well, I, I want I want stone stockpile close to both. Should I make it the same stockpile? I mean, there's a chance that they will go to the farther portion of the stockpile. But... I mean, if that happens, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. So, this is a single stockpile, and this is... Stone to cut. Right? Stone. For now, it's only dolomite. Also because it's the only stuff that we have. Uh, one wheelbarrow, yes. And before I unlock it, I want to say no wheelbarrow there. But also this one... I can pretty much remove. Okay. So we'll have a wheelbarrow here. And this stockpile will serve both these things. I can actually set it up right now. Okay. Stone workers and the crafts. We struck rose quartz. That's nice. That's a gem. Rose quartzes are nice. Get in here, let's do auto. Uh, lowest priority. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, that. So after they're done in here. Oh, there's more. But wait, 
there's more. More gems. More hematite. Hematite, hematite, potato, potato. Wait. You fool. Okay. Now it's something. Oh, look, they're using the beds. What's what? Shorls? Shorls. That's a thing. Okay, the mugs are in here. At least one mug is in here. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is our stone working setup. These things are not used at the moment, so they can be removed. Removed. Um, I will have blocks, bars and blocks in. I already have bars and blocks in here. I don't know why they haven't moved them. Probably because I'm keeping them busy doing other stuff. And in here, the workshops, carpenters, dolomite blocks, workshops, crafts in here. And this is going to be specifically for uh, wooden crafts. And in here, I'm going to replicate the same pattern. Um, dog pal. All in the middle. Wood. Wood to carb. Oh, and also I can get in here and say this provides wood for this and this. And this will ensure that uh, these two workshops never go farther than this stockpile. We get their raw materials. And then I can get in here and remove this. Okay. And we are effectively getting inside. This thing is full of leather. This of cloth stuff. This of bars and blocks. And I think I need more bins. More bins. But they need to move the logs first. No logs, no bins. Okay, there is one log in there. Make bin. Make bin. Make bin. Make bin. I have the two chairs. I'm going to use them. Furniture. Chair. I don't need fancy... Uh, fancy rooms at the moment, so I'm just gonna slap two chairs right there. And I'm gonna make two offices. One in here. Uh, accept. And this is the... Expedition leaders. And this is the office. Of counting. Counting. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. The office of counting. <laughs> hey, Verathine. What did you miss? Let me give you a brief tour. So, you, you didn't see the Embark site at all, I don't think. Right? So this is where we are. This is where this river starts. I cut a bunch of willow trees. This is the road, pre-built pre road. It goes up in here and makes a bend right here. And I thought, there's a bend and there is a nice alcove. So this is a fantastic opportunity to make a um, diagonal based layout, which is something that I very rarely do. I'm really much a square and rectangle guy when it comes to uh, to uh, Dwarf Fortress, so extra challenge, you know, the the main 
uh, symmetry axis is gonna be a diagonal. I'm still very much attached to symmetry. I do like that. Uh, we have our shovel, shovel head dormitory. All other shapes are non-existent. You're right. You're right. And you know, uh, that's a, that's, humans are attracted to symmetry just as much as they appreciate nature and something that looks organic. So, for me, um, both both ways are are valid. But yeah, I'm I'm mostly attracted to symmetry and uh, neat organized spaces. I just realized the speak and tree will never get cut because I just made the blueprint. So I'm gonna convert this blueprint into an actual designation now. Uh, and what is this? This is the probably easiest way for us to get to some soil. So this map, right, has a few different biomes. Uh, everything is more or less mountain biome. So as you can see, even very close to the surface, and you can uh, catch it on the, on this slopes, there's no soil practically. Uh, if we look in here, this river, the, the river has fire clay, which is a type of soil, because you can definitely uh, do things in clay. So the, 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 the valley, let's say, has soil, but we are not there. We are in here. However, this area right here is totally different biome, as signified by the fact that this is not clay, but red red sand so at some point i went whoa this, this is this is a nice plateau that i didn't see at all and i decided that i would make a small corridor in here that leads onto sand ah question one sorry i i have my my other uh, uh pc that i use for looking at chat it's slight to the side it's not easy for me to catch catch questions uh easily uh, question one, when you're done with go through, can you please give a quick rundown on blueprints? You mean designation blue blueprints uh, like uh, mining, mining blueprint. I think that's what you mean. So, or anything like mining, uh, wood chopping, let's see, well, pretty much everything. Everything that is a des designation but this is just remove designation, so not for that, uh, and not for building. Unfortunately, I should say not for building. Um, but let's say that I wanted to mine, right? Now, normally this is what you see. So, mine, mine stairs, create ramps, dig down, remove slopes, and and build build stuff. You open this up. And you get a few options. You get this, which is really nice. Which is, uh, I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Dig only ore and gems selected and auto mine any ore and gems of the same type. So with this, if I were to say auto mine this, they would mine this and then go, oh, but there's more. And they would mine all the similar tiles around. And this goes for all ore and gems of the same type. Um, then what do you have? This is just, this is not auto mining, but basically with this, either or, or, either or, or gems, I can draw a rectangle and it only selects or, or gems, which is neat. I rarely use it though. I mainly use the all and the auto mine. Because really, if you, if you imagine in this corridor, you have some gems exposed. You don't want to mine just the the gem that faces your corridor. You probably want to want to mine the entire cluster. So it makes more sense to me to use the auto, I guess, or big uh, for big metal uh, veins. Maybe you don't you don't want to follow that vein too far. So maybe you don't want to do the auto in there. But I don't generally auto mine or veins. Anyway, then we get to the numbers. 
which is the priority, uh, smaller numbers are executed first. So if I do something like this, the dwarves will try their best to dig the one first, then the three, then the four, then the six, with one caveat. Only one dwarf can access this tile. So a miner that has a pickaxe and nothing to do will totally go for the three because they cannot go for the other ones. So this is a priority, but it's a preference. So it's preferential pr priority, not how to say it's it's not gating. OK, so the three isn't gated until all the one has been uh, mined okay so bear this in mind if you if you're doing stuff that is uh um dangerous don't just rely on that brand new for you so good that i'm keeping on yap in my mouth because <laughs> at least i'm not <laughs> telling you stuff that you already know that's the thing with me i can't help it i have to explain stuff Don't, don't worry about it. I actually enjoy it. That's that's the thing. Like, I was totally getting here to say, enough with tutorials. I need to play. You you give me the slightest opportunity, and I'm just going to tutorialize anything. Um, okay, then. You click in here, and you change it to blueprint-only mode. So... With blue, blah, 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 blueprint only mode, it's blue. Print. And that means nobody's gonna do anything about it because it's it's just a drawing, okay? So you, you can do pixel art with this. Okay, totally fine. No, nobody's gonna mine the dwarf face out of here. Wow, I, I think I got it correct too. Um, however, it's useful, of course, for planning stuff. So I used it in here, right? Because this is saying, this is the shape that I want to mine out eventually. Okay. And let's say that... Uh, let me remove this. I, I leave that. It's fine. That's nice. So, I, I, I want these two holes to be my, let's say, mass production holes for stone and wood, respectively. Uh, but I, I didn't want to just unleash the miners and have them go for an entire season, right? So, what, what I did, I went in here after de designing the stuff with the blueprint. I clicked on this, which is change blueprints to standard selections, because that's exactly what the game intends uh, for you to read. No, it's change blueprints to standard selections. I don't think any more than that is missing. And a standard standard selection would be just the order of please do do the thing, right? So with this enabled, you can select a portion of the blueprint, and that becomes normal. So if I do this, right, I did not change, like, the, the design is the same. I just switch from blueprint. So I, I, I switch from pixel art to actual orders, basically, which is really, really handy, as you can see. Because you can, I could say in here, by the way, my other big uh, vice when it comes to Dwarf Fortress, I could say four hours in here. With blue, mm, it's weird. I can't say blueprint. At least not reliably. With blueprint, <laughs> with blooper mode. Um, so with blooper mode enable, I could stay in here and just do blooper after blooper for hours and hours, right? 
and do stuff like this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have this in here, and it's gonna have a door, and then open up in here in a hallway that is shaped like something. And this is now a battle axe. Because why not? Actually, I think I'm gonna totally have a battle axe in here. Like, like, this is badass. Yeah. So, this is, uh, this is how bloopers work. And this is it for this episode of my Twitch playthrough of Dwarf Fortress of the Fortress of Boulder Dances. If you want to try and catch me live, uh, you can go to Twitch and look for Listed as Onion or simply follow a link that I will totally not forget to add in the description of uh, these videos. That said, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!